Zoom. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And we are back with a band that we've done uh, once before, Hawkwind. And it's also a request from Steve B. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you for the support and thank you for being in the chat and watching all the videos, man. I really appreciate you. I, uh, I do not, uh, doesn't go, I don't miss it. Seriously, thank you. <laughs> and we're gonna be listening to, it's, what, it's a mouthful, hold on. Assault and Battery and The Golden Void. It's track one off of Warrior on the Edge of Time. This is their fifth studio album, um, and it's the last one that features Lemmy as well. And it's also, what did they say? It's the last one, and it's like the highest charting uh, album they ever had in the UK, apparently. So let's get right into it. If you guys are not subscribed, you already know. Oops, just hit it. Click the button. Do it. Okay, all right, bet. Here we go, Assault and Battery, the Golden Void. Three, two, one, hey, two. I probably look ridiculous right now. That's okay. Quickie, baby. Lee is not gonna be looking stupid as much anymore. I'm trying to get my shit together. Can't just wing everything. That fucking cover is awesome. Just FYI. Do that bass line. I love those vocals too, man. Just soaring. This is definitely a different flavor than what of the, the last song we heard by them. just like paints such a crazy picture in your mind. I kind of, I don't like the production on the drums to be honest, they're really buried in the mix. I say that. <laughs> Never mind. Dude, this is so epic sounding. very tribal sounding in a way too. Not even just because of this part, but like, I don't know, it's got like this weird primal undertone to it. Apparently Lemmy was fired one day before this came out. <laughs> That's terrible. Great men all remind us We may make a 
vocals are kind of like haunting, man. <laughs> That's so epic. It's very like acid rocky, but like it also has like this electronic sort of like influence too. And that was different from the last song. Oh shit. Busting out the fucking gong. <laughs> Wow. It's like this wall of sound, dude. It's just like overweight. It's just like a wave, you know, like overtaking you. It's flying, man. Like, it's crazy, acid colored world. <laughs> Protecting the world from itself. Love that harmony. Bro, there's like so many different genres in this. It's crazy, man. Like, what the fuck? Oh, that's awesome. The sick line. What? Fucking empty. I love that the beat is like kind of stayed like consistent, but all the other instruments have been going crazy around it. I love it. Drummer's just holding it down. Wow, man. Who plays the keys? Simon House. Dude fucking rocks. <laughs>
what a world they can just vividly paint in your mind. That cover helps a lot, though. Wow. I'm just like this last, the last knight on the wall. You know, it's like Game of Thrones. But instead of the undead, it's time itself. Damn, it keeps going. Fuck, I'm going to keep going. Wow. Good pick, man. That was so good. Um, I knew that, like, from the last song that I would definitely enjoy it because I know that they, like, tend to blend a lot of genres together and, you know, and they were the inspiration for, like, tons and tons of bands. And um, I think that's so awesome. And I see why, man. Like, dude, they literally incorporate everything into that. Like, and it was consistent. Like, it was like this almost, like I said, wall of sound the entire time that just never stopped, like, for 10 minutes. And um, it was like a wave that just kept going and kept going. And it kept growing and kept growing. And then, like, it just exploded at the end there with the, the end of time. Oh, my God. That... That seriously might have been one of the coolest pieces I've ever heard right there. That section right there, that was so fucking worth the 10 or whatever. It might have been seven or eight minutes to get to that point, man. Totally worth it. That was so, so cool. And just him repeating it and then just saying the edge of time at the last one, like, that was awesome. That was fucking awesome. The bass in this by Lemmy, oh, my God, dude. Like, literally, his bass lines were ba like just the entire... I don't know. I, I would say it was at least 30 or 40 percent of the sound with the keys, man. Like he just kept it like walking back and down and like him and the drummer were going back and forth, just like kind of keeping everything in time and rhythm. And let me, it just has this, I don't know, like, I don't know if it's the production, like, cause the production on the drums weren't the best at some point. It sounded like, because I know the wall of sound, you kind of lose some pieces of every instrument. Cause like they're all, like contributing just towards the wall. They're not like being themselves, you know? So I know, I know the production might've sacrificed a little bit on that end just for that. But, um, I mean, other than that, like I thought everything sounded good. Um, I think the keys and, uh, the vocals were awesome as well. They're probably my favorite parts of it other than the bass, like the keys in this what was his name again, Simon house. And then there's Alan Powell and Simon King on drums and percussions, Lemmy on bass, Nick Turner on the saxophone float, uh, flute and vocals. Oh, that was on a certain thing. And then Dave Brock on guitar, keyboards, vocals, bass, guitar. And they're all like playing multi instruments. Like they're all just, a, it's, it seems like it's a, like a group of really, really talented people that can play multiple instruments. And they just all probably took a bunch of fucking acid and made some crazy ass music. <laughs> and I'm totally with it, bro. I love that shit so much. So yeah, that was a great request. Thank you so much, man. I'll definitely do another Hawkwind song. Um, it might be from this album. I might do another one. Who knows? Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to say. Oh yeah, that I know it said that it's loosely based on the Eternal Champion by uh, Michael Moorcock. Wait, wait, he's got a yeah. My, many of the lyrics by Michael Michael Moorcock and the album is based on the concept of Moorcock's novel, The Eternal Champion. I'll have to look that up. That sounds pretty awesome. Dude, like the Golden Void and stuff like that. That's a very cool um, name. So I definitely have to want to check that out. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you want to do a request like this, there's a PayPal ding, ding, ding right there. That's for requests, tips, and everything else. Um, it's the best way to support the channel. It's direct. Nobody takes a cut of it. YouTube. Looking at you. Uh, there's also a Patreon right here. If you're into that, uh, we're, we got like 52 members. We've got a nice little community over the community over there. Um, with a certain tier and up, you get one free request a month. You get to chat with me whenever you want. There's tons of block videos, Patreon exclusives, everything. It's fun over there. Go check it out. Um, I think that's it out of me guys. Have a good rest of your day. Good. Yeah, 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 woo!